pointing about a possible mothership coming close to Earth. It may sound straight out of a movie, but the Pentagon and a Harvard scientist have collaborated on a new draft report questioning if we're alone in the universe and whether we've already seen evidence of life beyond Earth. Tonight out of Harvard University, a draft paper about mysterious flying objects sounding almost like science fiction. There's a good thing. Could have been a mothership that released some probes in the habitable region around the sun. If we have a visitor to our backyard, we should observe it at first. Hello, my friends. This is Alien Contact D. Little Anderson here is the guys with a brand new YouTube bit shoot video. Well, you see the clip I played at the beginning of the video there? And that's the news that you see right there on mainstream media. They're now telling you that there is a possibility that there is a alien mothership in our solar system. And uh, yeah, it's just mainstream news now. Uh, it's coming from the Pentagon. Some chief guy at the Pentagon who's in charge of the UFO department pretty much. At the end of the day, that's what they're trying to say. And they're coming right out saying, yeah, there might be a, a mothership and it might be sending these little probes down to the earth and all that kind of stuff. I got the whole article that we're going to read in a moment. But before we do, I'm just going to let you know when an old alien contactee thinks of all this. Is this legit or is this all part of this false flag fake alien invasion? So let's get right to it, my friends. Before we do, I'm just going to encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button. As I say, subscribe to survive. And also, hit smash the like button. Helps me so much with the algorithms. And I just want to say, this YouTube video is being sponsored by Oweli and their product, the Liver Detox. My friends, this is a must-have to detox everything uh, that we detox goes through the liver and our liver is being attacked in so many ways so this will flush you right out non-gmo plant-based products uh, it's the good stuff my friends the link is down below make sure you use my link it helps me out and it helps you out now let's just get right to it all right my friends so what do i think about all this nonsense that's what i think it is it's nonsense okay there are otherworldly beings, okay? What you would like to call alien, all right? But you got to realize we're living in a 3D matrix simulation reality that is physical. True reality is not physical. These extraterrestrial beings are actually interdimensional beings, okay? And yes, they do have motherships outside of the simulation for sure, but it's not how you think it is. It's a higher dimensional source, okay? A higher dimensional thing. Now, what the Pentagon wants you to believe, uh, you can already tell they're pushing the whole narrative this is a physical thing. And pretty much what they're doing is they're getting humanity ready for this fake alien invasion uh, to usher in an NWO, and also to carry out the harvest, the reptilian harvest, okay? I've gone over it in other videos. Make sure you check out a video I actually did on this warning you to not get on the ships. That's right, my friends. I'll leave a link down in the description at the end of this video. But yeah, that's pretty much what they're going to do. They want you to believe that the aliens are coming. They're here. And they might very well come saying, oh, we come in peace, right? And uh, and maybe they're going to warn us an asteroid is coming or something, right? Uh, they just said an asteroid might hit the Earth in 2046. Okay, and I'm going to be making a new video on that uh, coming up later this week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my full coverage of that. But maybe that's the narrative they're going with, right? Oh, asteroids coming, the aliens are coming to save us. Oh, come on our ships, we'll take you off the Earth, right? And really, they're just going to harvest you, and it's not going to be good. You know what I mean? They got some kind of agenda they're going to be playing. So, 
That's how you know it's all nonsense. They're trying to put fear into people's hearts. And also, it's a distraction. This is classic distraction, my friends. Big things happening, uh, especially in the United States. We just had a bank collapse, the Silicon Valley Bank. And that's uh, the 16th largest bank in the United States. It had some kind of failure, and uh, it's been seized, all this kind of stuff, and people can't get to their money now, and they're saying it's going to cause a financial crisis and all this stuff. It's a big deal. And uh, this is their agenda. That's why I tell people, get your money out of the banks, because there's going to come a day you're not going to be able to get your money out. They're trying to collapse the whole system. So all this is going on, and as soon as that happens, oh, that's in the headlines. We got a mothership coming. Classic distraction, my friends. It's a classic distraction scenario. And uh, it's a shame. You know, people don't even care. They don't even care. Even most people don't even know about this UFO business mothership. You know, they're, they're distracted by other things, you know, whether it be Ukraine or or uh, the football game, or hockey game, this and that. People just don't even know what's coming. But I've been warning you guys about this for a long time. I've been preaching about the false flag alien invasion for over 10 years. It's all unfolding now, my friends. And it's wild stuff. So uh, let's get to the article on what they're trying to tell us, okay, my friends? Let's take a look. All right, my friends, here's the article from MilitaryTimes.com. It says, Pentagon UFO chief says alien mothership is in our solar system possible. It says, there is a possibility that extraterrestrial motherships and smaller probes may be visiting planets in our solar system. The head of the Pentagon's Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Research Office noted in a report draft shared Tuesday. An artificial interstellar object could potentially be a parent craft that releases many small probes during its close passage to Earth, an operational construct not too dissimilar from NASA's missions. Sean Kirkpatrick, director of the Pentagon's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, wrote in a research report. Kirkpatrick, who was appointed as director of the AARO when it was founded in July 2022, previously served as the chief scientist at the Defense Intelligence Agency Missile and Space Intelligence Center. The AARO was established to investigate unidentified objects of interest around military installations, according to the Pentagon's press release. Lieb, on the other hand, gained notoriety when he proposed our solar system had been traversed by its first extrasolar visitor in October 2017. At the time, the Pan Stars Telescope in Hawaii detected an object moving at a speed that caused some scientists to suggest that it originated outside our system. The object's orbit also hinted as other forces besides the sun's gravitational pull influ influencing its movement. Scientists dubbed the object a muamua, the Hawaiian term for scout, which Kirkpatrick and Lieb offer in their research paper as an example of a possible mothership with probe capabilities. With proper design, these tiny probes would reach the Earth or solar system planets for exploration. As the parent craft passes by within a fraction of the Earth-Sun separation, just like Oumuamua did, the author explained, astronomers would not be able to notice the spray of many probe probes because they do not reflect enough sunlight for existing survey telescopes to notice them. The research paper titled Physical Constraints of Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon comes following a month of intense scrutiny of unidentified flying objects, a stirring trend ignited when a Chinese balloon captivated the nation by drifting across U.S. airspace. 
three additional unidentified objects were sub subsequently found. And what are the chances now that this is hitting the news, right, my friends? All part of the agenda. So, the article goes on uh, to talk about all that stuff, but uh, that's the gist of it. I'll leave the link down in the description so you can read it for yourselves. All right, there you have it, my friends. Isn't that funny? They're talking about this Amua Mua. Is this what they're taking all this, basing all this off? Is the 2017 discovery of Amua Mua? My friends, why would they be bringing this out into the public right now, right? If this is a theory based off something from 2017. It's obvious distraction. They've just been waiting. They've been sitting on this story. And now that they were waiting for a major event to happen, and oh, it happened. Okay, let's hit the headlines with the with the mothership, right? See what they're doing is they're getting this into your subconscious mind. That's what they're doing. End of the day, uh, getting you prepared for when they do pull this stuff off. And uh, they're trying to install some fear into you as well, you know, of these situations. But it's pretty much just getting you ready for it. It's it's slow disclosure. And like I said, there's a big agenda, which is going to be related to this harvest event. And all I can say is don't get on that ship. Uh, like I said, you got to check out that video I was telling you guys about earlier down in the description. But uh, they're getting ready to pull some serious stuff, my friends. So what you need to be doing is telling all your friends, all your family, about this agenda. We need as many people, because there's so much stuff going on in the world right now, and we got a great awakening happening. And even the most brainwashed people, the biggest sleepers, are starting to be like, okay, something's not right with the world. You know, I've talked to people who are still under the mind control, and even they're saying something's weird, because it's getting too obvious at this point. This is happening, that's happening, you know, the sickness, and then the, the war, and then the, the stuff with the weather, and this and that. It's just one big thing after another. And now, aliens? Yeah, even the sleepers are starting to wonder what the heck is going on. So that's why it's up to people like me and people like you to tell your friends, tell your family what's going on. And let them know how this has been a long-standing agenda. Project Bluebeam, fake alien invasion, to usher in this NWO. But you guys got to understand it goes deeper than that. Because a lot of these people are awake to that. They, they think all oh, alien stuff isn't real and stuff. But no, it's very real. There are real aliens. And there is going to be a real alien event as well, my friends. I always tell my followers... The fake alien invasion is going to be first, and then the real one will follow soon after. That's right. We're talking the return of the Anunnaki. It's happening. It's all happening, my friends. Return of Nibiru. We are in those days. And my channel covers this extensively about everything that's soon about to take place. So I'm going to leave a link as well in the description and at the end of this video that will take you to my playlist where I'm explaining to you guys exactly what's going on with Earth right now. It's the Nibiru playlist. We're going to I get into what Nibiru actually is and what this whole reptilian Anunnaki harvest is and the events we will soon see play out very soon on Earth. But this whole fake alien agenda is all part of the plan, my friends. And you can see it's all happening now. So def definitely, uh, you know, make sure you've subscribed by this point. As I say, subscribe to survive because I'm going to keep you guys up to date with all the information, all the big developments that happen. And, you know, we just got to get the truth out there while we can. So I will ask you guys at this point, you know, if, if, you, if you appreciate my videos and appreciate the work I'm doing for you guys and you want more videos, well, I'm down there on Patreon and I'm making exclusive content you don't get anywhere else. I got the Ascend to 5D class. And I also got the Health class. 
and I got the occult class. I'm doing Palladian channelings. If you want me to be your mentor, anything like that, and message me anytime, check me out on Patreon, and your support helps me keep this channel going. Or if you don't even want to sign up to that, you just want to make a one-time uh, donation, you can simply buy me a coffee. I'm on the website, buy me, the co uh, buy me a coffee. Uh, if you want to help me continue my mission, all the links are down below. Any help would be much appreciated. If not, all I ask is just please subscribe and hit the like button. It helps all line all out. And uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all my patrons. I appreciate all my subscribers. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. I've been making videos since 2011. I'm a veteran in this game. And uh, it's you guys who keep me going. So thanks so much. So my next video here on YouTube is going to be on this asteroid coming in 2046 that they're now talking about. That's another thing that's in the media. It, what's this all about? Could it be Nibiru? Uh... We're going to get right into that, so make sure you've subscribed by this point. And until then, it's your old alien contactee, Lionel, signing off, my friends. You guys have yourself a fantastic week.